Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Bank1W with 1,288 rating versus Ilino Scarbo with 850 rating, so it's going to be another high rated DB video, also make sure to go ahead and check out Bank1W's team, link down below at the top of the description, and then we're going to see Alamino go ahead and win the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot, they're going to go first, 40 versus 45, also yeah, when it's names like this bro, like I'm not even going to try, like look at this, what is this, Il Nano, not real name, we got Valor, Emergency, Map, Prosperity, Alert. They have Tour Guide, Chamber, Shivara, Shyama, and Chamber. So they're going to go Tour Guide, Effect Chain Link 1, Valor Chain Link 2, ha ha ha, Shivara Chain Link 3, get played. Bam, pop, special, Tour Guide results, bring out the Phoenix Rhino Warrior from deck. Then we're going to see an Emit the Feet button there, holy, they just knew that they lost that one. Okay, on to the next one now, Game 2. We're going to see Rescue Ace go first. We got Rescue, Map, Book, Ash, Cosmic. They have Prison, Ash, Prosperity, Droll, and Shavara. So activate Map, go search Hydrant, lose half the life points, and then the opponent's going to drop Droll, stopping us from searching this turn, which is really tough. We're going to go set Book, Cosmic, they draw Rekia. And then set Prison, Shavara, Target, and then Chain Cosmic, banish that. Activate Prosperity now. They could have went normal Rikia, try to pop the back row, and then they had Shavara. Because I feel like that was just a weird way to do it, because now we don't even have a way to play with these two cards. We should have definitely normaled Rikia there, and then we also had Shavara that could try to pop Rikia, you know, if it came down to it. So that, that was definitely a misplay. Then we get hit with Ash, because we shouldn't be passing here. So we're just going to go normal, summon Battle Phase, attack for 15, and then pass turn. Draw Turbulence, Normal Out, Hydrant, and then they said someone's fine. Hydrant Effect to go search, Chain Ash Blossom, and then just Link. I mean, they're just going to Link into anything and then activate Rescue to summon back, and then just Link into anything again. So now we're going to turn those into the Hita. The opponent does have Ash in their grave. Uh, then Hita effect to go take Ash Blossom to a point, I was going to say to a zone that this points to, and then Banish, bring out Turbulence, uh, they're thinking there, they don't have anything, I don't know, why are they, why are they thinking so much, they literally don't have an interruption here, Pop, Special, Rakia effect, go summon, okay, bring out Shyama, it's not like you're getting hit with Appalooza there, you'd want to get hit with Appalooza, because that means they didn't use their Turbulence effect, but battle phase, attack over Shivara, take the damage, and then Shivara effect to go set from the deck, set a chamber, uh, link off into Heat Leo, Heat Leo effect, spin back the chamber, turbulence effect, set emergency, contain, extinguish, and alert. So set four from the deck, now we have five set cards, and then, you know, our opponent has one card in hand, one card on field, activate emergency, Summon Preventer, Send Preventer, Preventer Effect, Summon out the Hydrant, and then Main Phase, Shyama Effect, try to pop itself, and then in response, Chain Extinguish to pop it, make it so they can't use anything, or use that for the rest of the turn, so the Shyama's locked down, and then whenever they normal Tour Guide, we could just contain it. So Tour Guide Effect, Chain Contain, can't attack Hydrant, they admit defeat, on to Game 3 now. We're going to see Unchain go first. Opening hands, we got Headquarters, Valor, Prosperity, Imperm, Prosperity. Oh, it feels so bad because, like, Headquarters says draw one. Prosperity says once per turn. And then they have Shivara, Aura, Talents, Aura, Shivara. And then, like, Valor, Imperm also aren't the best cards against the opponent's deck. We're going to go Set, Shivara, Pop. Uh, setting helps to beat something like Nib there. And then they're going to get Aura Effect, bring out the Shyama. Now use those to go up into Yama. Yama 1, Shavara 2, Valor 3. They're going to set Escape. And then they're going to Talents like a hand. I mean, I get it. They wanted to keep Imperm for the DDD. Uh, now we're going to go Aura Effect to pop the Escape. And then Escape Effect to go bring out from the deck. Okay, um... They do have the Shyama Engrave already. They could go... I mean, okay, they're going to go for Rakia. I was thinking more Sarama. Sarama, Set, Escape. 
Pop, Aura, Aura go bring out like Rakia, I guess so you can Shyama, Pop, Sarama, and then bring that out, and then use that to bring out from Duck, yeah. Okay, but they bring out Rakia, and then they're going to pop the Rakia. Okay, bring out Rakia, effect goes summon, sure. And then that's going to bring out Shavara. Okay, that's definitely supposed to be Sarama. This is, what? Okay, maybe Bank 1W scooped to early game 1. But, yeah, they could have brought out Sarama there. And then you go Sarama to set escape. And then... Oh, I guess the problem is we can't pop Aura now. So we needed to do that before. Because we needed to pop Rakia and Sarama. Yeah, so we needed, yeah, we needed to bring out Sarama first. Because now we can't do it. Because now we have Aura on field, which was already popped. But that wasn't in the original plan. We just needed to pop Sarama and Rakia. So yeah, they definitely messed up there. Um, they could have had the exact same thing, like everything exactly the same, except also having escape set. But pass, they draw Hydra, unless if I messed that up, but I don't, I don't think I did, right? I don't, I'm, in my line, I only used two of the graveyard effects. Um, but activate Prosperity, if I did mess it up, there is a different way to do it. There has to be a different way to do it there. And then Prosperity, look at the top six. Um, Imperm's not bad. To try to shut down the opponent's monster, but we are just going to grab Rota there. Yeah, I mean... Okay, I guess I mean, we had Hydrant. We had two bodies already. We had Hydrant on our field, Airlifter. So, I guess we just have to link and force out Solar Rage, and then we would have Turbulence Resolve. But let's see what they want to do. They're going to grab Impulse, and then activate Headquarters, Normal Summon Impulse. And then, I said I'm confused, Rage only targets special summon monsters and you can't use Caesar and your card in hand has to be Sarama. Quite accurate, but not all is right, I think. Yeah, because they do have Yama, and you could try to pop this if they wanted to. But I get why they think the card in the opponent's hand is Sarama, because that's probably what I would think too. It's like, oh, they didn't go through it because they opened it and they didn't want to like waste a resource from hand or something. But now we're going to, you know, extra normal because headquarters bring out hydrant, hydrant effect to go search, uh, grab out preventer, and then link off in the Omirage, banish, bring out preventer, and then, you know, preventer can book moon the DDD. Um, they're going to go battle phase. Attack in the Solar Rage, they're going to take 200, because we have Headquarters, and then Effect, add back the Rakia. Attack over, Preventer, I guess like, nah, never mind, never mind, wouldn't it work? Yeah, because we have to like, yeah, if we had Airlifter plus Hydrant, because we just have to make sure they don't like Yama bring back Solar Rage and we mess up somehow. But now they're going to go Yama... And Shavara, so go ahead and set chamber and then bring out Solar Rage. Okay, main phase two. Hopefully we have a plan for that Solar Rage. Go on the Sunlight Wolf and then Preventer effect, summon out Hydrant. Sunlight Wolf effect to add back. And then they're going to grab back the Preventer. Uh, go up in the Heat Leo. Heat Leo, try to spin the back row. Change Shavara to pop the back row. And then bring out Chamber Effect, Summon from Deck. Uh, I guess I could bring out Abomination, but using its effect will allow the opponent to chain Impulse. But I guess we can just pop the Turbulence that they bring out then. So Abominable 1, and then yeah, they just scoop Chain Link 2. That's unfortunate, but yeah, they go ahead and lose. I said, I don't get why you didn't set up Trap Turn 1, but yeah, GG. I couldn't, I used Normal Summon for aura and float effect early there was no way you special rakia from deck can't you just special sarama there but not have had solar rage on field or the ddd or yama graveyard effect okay that uh okay well let's see how long the match was the match was 24 minutes long okay now quick quick the little refresh button go to game three fast forward 
Okay, and then I'll just fast forward until the part to where after they talons, because I feel like that's like the fair part to go to. So there we go. Okay, 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 okay. So here they've used red dog hand effect targeting aura. They brought out Shyama. They didn't use anything else. So now they're gonna go aura effect summon and pop chamber or escape. My bad, my bad. And then escape effect bring out from the deck. Okay, so then. If that just brings out... Okay, so right here, they bring out the Rikia, right? Okay, so let's just... Boom! Slap! Imagine that's Sarama. Sarama, set escape. Pomp Aura. No. What have been that? I guess you have to go... Oh, it's bring out Rikia. I had the line before. I had the line before. So it's bring out Rikia. Shyama. Pop Rikia. Summon... Rakia effect now summons Sarama. So now imagine this Rakia is a Shyama and Sarama's just gonna be right here next to it. And then we can go like go Yama Aura Solar Rage. And then hmm. I guess that doesn't work out super well. Cause we would have used Rakia Aura and now we need to get Sarama effect. So we can go Sarama to set, we could set escape, and then we can pop, we could pop Solar Rage, but then we have to go through Yama effect, which I'm trying to not do, so that way we can end with like the full end board with Yama there. So then it's Sarama, Shyama, Yama, and then we go set escape, pop, so we make Solar Rage first. I guess we have the Yama effect to do it like that way then. Yeah, we have to Yama to do it that way. Because we have to pop one of our cards. And the only thing we're going to be able to pop is the Solar Rage. So we can end with Solar Rage, Trap, DDD, but with no Yama in Grave. And we would also get another add back. Because then we would have the... We have Aura, Shyama, Sarama, Yama. We go Yama, Aura, Solar Rage... And then we go Shaya, or then oh, then we go uh, Sarama set escape, pop Solar Rage, Solar Rage add back, Yama summon back Solar Rage, and then we go Shyama pop Sarama, Sarama bring out Shavara, and then that makes the DDD. So that ends on all of it, but without Yama and Grave. And if I sat here for another minute, or maybe if I just put the DD the DB perspective in my point of view, so that way I could actually start like you know playing through it. Um, then maybe there's another way to do it with the Yama engrave, uh, but there we go. So that, that, that was one potential line, one potential line, but with all that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.